Fault Finding Guide Water Discharging Through the Tundish Welcome to part one of this fault finding guide showing installers how to diagnose the cause of water discharging through the tundish. The tundish is a key component designed so that homeowners can detect the presence of a fault within their heating system. In normal operation, water will not discharge through the tundish. If water is discharging, the homeowner should contact an engineer. There are five potential causes leading to water discharging through the tundish, and these are insufficient charge on the expansion vessel, back pressure on the system, system overheating, a problem with the temperature pressure release valve, or TPRV, or a problem with the inlet control set. A PDF download of the diagnostic chart is available on the link below. First, you must identify the source of the discharge. Is it the TPRV or the pressure relief valve or PRV passing water? If it's the temperature pressure relief valve, test the water temperature. Is it under 89 degrees? Then the valve is faulty and should be replaced. If the water is over 89 degrees, then the cylinder is overheating and you need to locate and fix the cause of the overheating. Typical reasons include issues with the thermostatic controls, problems with the hot water zone valve or incorrect wiring. Once repaired, check and confirm the problem has been resolved and if this has not resolved the issue, move on to part 2. Welcome to part 2 of this fault finding guide, water discharging through the tundish. Pressure relief valve or PRV. If the water is coming from the pressure relief valve, you first need to check the system's thermal expansion is adequately charged. For cylinders using an external expansion vessel, like our Tribune HE or EUP, or our Ultra Steel, this means disconnecting the expansion vessel from the system and testing the air pressure using a pressure gauge. If the pressure is below 3 bar, the vessel needs recharging. Note, if the vessel fails to hold the charge, it will need replacing. For more information on how to do this, please watch our video, External Thermal Expansion Vessels, and see the link below. If it's a more modern cylinder with built-in thermal expansion, like the Tribune XE or Ultra Steel Plus, then the internal bubble needs recharging. For information on how to do this, please watch our video, How to Repressurise an Unvented Hot Water Cylinder, see the link below. If that does not resolve the issue, please move on to part 3 of this guide. Welcome to part 3 of this fault finding guide, water discharging through the tundish. Pressure relief valve or PRV. If recharging the thermal expansion has not resolved the problem, the next common cause you will need to eliminate is the possibility of backflow on the system. You will need to locate and repair any sources of back pressure. Frequent sources of back pressure include shower valves and mixer taps. Having fixed or eliminated the possibility of backflow problems, check and confirm if the issue has been resolved. If water is still discharging from the tundish, then check the PRV is free from damage, dirt or wear and tear. If the PRV is OK, move on to check the rest of the inlet control set is operating correctly and reducing the water pressure to 3 bar or below. If faulty, replace the inlet control set and confirm whether the issue has been resolved. By following the checks listed within this guide and implementing the recommended corrective actions, you should have eliminated all possible causes leading to water discharging through the tundish. However, if you are still having problems, please contact our technical help team by emailing hotwater at kingspan.com or calling 0345 260 0258.